In this question, we are going to compare the boiling point of pentane and butane. So step one, let's go draw those out, okay? So pentane, pentane is five, and it's just a normal alkane molecule with all these hydrogens. There would be 12 hydrogens. Kevin, how did you know there were 12 hydrogens so quickly, my bro? It's because of the general formula of pentane, or alkanes. It's CnH2n plus 2. So if I know the number of carbons, then to get the hydrogen, I just say times 2 plus 2. Um, okay, Kevin, too much, too much. I've just woken up. Okay, sorry guys, sometimes I go on my own little rant. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe I've been indoors for too long. Okay, now what I would always suggest is draw another, draw another um, pentane molecule. Why? Well, when you boil something, you are separating the molecules from each other. So you are going to be separating these two molecules from each other. You're not going to be breaking these bonds over here. That's not what we do when we boil something, okay? Now, on the other side, let's go draw uh, butane. And of course, we can draw two of them because you're gonna be separating the butanes from each other. Kevin, aren't we separating pentane from butane? No, that's not what these questions mean. They mean if you had a container filled with pentane, so this would be a container filled with pentane, so there would be millions and trillions of pentane molecules, and then on the right here, you'd have a container filled with butane, okay? That's what these questions mean. Okay, so butane just has four. Okay, so, what we do for, so what we do when comparing boiling points, okay, for four marks, what you want to do, step one, um, or let me first explain everything to you guys in a simplified way, and then I'll show you how to write it, the answer down to get all the marks. So let me show you the basics. What you should understand is that this, the, this pentane, uh, or these pentane molecules, they are alkanes. Now, alkanes, are non-polar, okay? They're not polar, they are non-polar. So the only intermolecular force, you know, we could talk about um, dipole-dipole, London, hydrogen, hydrogen bonding, sorry. So the only, when you have non-polar molecules, the only intermolecular force that we have is London forces. That's gonna be the same for these ones over here. So you might be thinking, well, okay, if there's London forces for both, then surely the boiling point is the same. But in fact, that's not true. What happens is the following is that, you know, I'm going to make this really simplified. You could imagine that there's like a London force over there, then a London force over there, or like, you know, like this area, this area, this area, this area, and this area. So you see that there were five I'm not saying this is exactly how it is in real life. I'm just trying to make this very simplified for you. Um, and then here there's only four, four like attachment areas. So when you have a longer molecule, the London forces, you can almost add them together to see what the total London force power is, okay? Where, so the longer the molecule, the larger the overall London force effect becomes, and it becomes more difficult to separate these two molecules from each other compared to if you wanted to separate these two from each other. These two will be easier to separate than these two, okay? So these two are more difficult because they hold on to each other a little bit stronger because there's more London forces that are busy working. So, to boil this one, remember what boiling means? It means that you are turning a liquid into a gas. So you are separating the liquid molecules from each other and turning them into gas. So you are separating the molecules. So if you wanted to separate these two, you are gonna need to use more energy than if you wanted to separate these two. This means that you would need a larger temperature, because remember, temperature is energy. So you would need a higher or a larger temperature to separate these two than if you wanted to separate these two molecules. 
Okay, hope that makes sense. If you understand that, then that's brilliant. Now I'm gonna show you how to write this in a more formal way in an exam. Okay, so if you don't mind, I'm just gonna separate, I'm gonna quickly erase the bottom parts here. Actually, I erased everything, but you should remember everything we've spoken about. Okay, so what you do for four marks is, um, so here's like a little template that you can use. Um, mention the dominant intermolecular force in molecule one. Mention the dominant intermolecular force in molecule two. Um, then do like the comparison part and then the conclusion. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So you start off, now here's where we're gonna write our answer. So you're gonna say pentane molecules or pentane molecules contain London force intermolecular forces. Okay, you can then say butane. See, I'm not comparing them just yet. I'm just saying what they have. Butane molecules contain London force intermolecular forces. Then what we can say is that pentane is longer than butane, the larger surface area causes the London forces to be stronger than in butane. Maybe over here we should have said for pentane molecules. So what I'm trying to say is that the, the larger surface area for pentane molecules causes the London force to be stronger than in butane uh, molecules. Now here's the part where we do the conclusion, okay? So, sorry, I've run out of space, but the conclusion would be, therefore, more energy is needed to overcome the forces of attraction in pentane molecules. So we can say pentane has higher boiling point. Okay, so I hope that that all made sense.